hello friends uh, this is the function pointer program which i have written to demonstrate the functionality of the function pointer okay so here we will see i have written the four function like um, add which takes the two um, argument and uh, it will add both the numbers and the sum will sum is as a return value okay so i am taking the a and b as an argument and uh, i am taking the local variable as a c and uh, i will add both the variable and i will return it so same thing i am doing for the subtraction is a subtraction also i will take the two numbers as an argument i will subtract the second number from the first number i will subtract the second number from the from the first number and Mm, whatever the result I will get that I am returning same thing I am doing for multiplication and same thing I am doing for division now let's go to the main program ok so here now uh, this is the declaration of the function pointer ok so this is the in this bracket we are defining the argument which we are passing to the function ok so we will indicate that inside the bracket and this is the pointer to a function it is a ptr okay that also we have to mention in uh, bracket okay so this is the declaration of the function pointer now <coughs> so this is the function pointer with two integer as an argument and return integer value now I have taken the variable as a sum so what it will do I will take I will let you know about it later okay so uh, I have taken the number one and number two so my aim is to using this function pointer I will add this number this value both the number okay so here what I did I'm just first printing the both the numbers number one and number two okay okay so here i have given number one as a value two and number two with value one so here it will print now this is the value one and value two that is another variable that i have taken that we will discuss later so first we are going to use this number one and number two both the things so now um, the pointer this is the ptr this is the pointer okay now if i want to assign a function pointer with an address so i have to give the base address of a function to the function pointer okay that is the main thing so this way i'm doing the ptr is equal to add add is the function name you can see here again add is the name of the function ultimately add is the base address so this way we are assigning a function to the function pointer now i want to call that function using a function pointer so what i need to do simple thing now doing that way i need to pass two argument with the function pointer because here in the declaration we have given the value as integer and integer so instead instead of that we needed to pass two integer numbers with an argument okay that will work and what i will do i can call the function this way <coughs> so now after doing that one the whatever the written value of the function pointer it is integer value and the word please write in that with the function that is integer okay so that should match actually if i will change the like argument over here okay, of the add then it will give me some error combination error. let's see that thing see i have given only one argument let's compile that program it's giving me an error here what is the error invalid conversion from integer star 
integer to here it is telling inside of the function pointer declaration it is we are passing the two integer as an argument but here actual function has one argument only so it is not matching so because of that it will give error now i will do the same thing which i have done it is compiling okay that means we can now it should match whatever the like uh, function pointer we have defined and the, if we are assigning the address of the function uh, address of the function of the function pointer then it should match okay so that is one thing same thing we cannot uh, if we are passing only one variable not other variable then again it will the result will be the same it will give an error so both the things should match okay now once it is written okay now we will check the return value suppose i will change this return value to void now we will try to compare see again it is an error okay so everything should match so i will do the same thing again with new integer now let's once like once we execute a function with a function pointer we will get the return value and that goes to sum value so now we are getting the result in the sum so sum is equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 okay so that let's we will see the same thing i am again building it and i am executing it so number one it is equal to number two is equal to one addition using the function pointer is equal to three okay so here i am printing addition using function pointer is equal to sum and sum is equal to yeah this is the function pointer usage okay now let's see uh, one more thing in, uh, we will see the usage of array of function pointer okay that's before that uh, I the same thing like once i have used this function pointer to point to the address function now i want to point to the subscription function using the same function pointer yeah that we can do using the function pointer okay so now i have assigned ptr is equal to sub same thing only i have changed the address now i am doing the same thing i am executing a call using a function pointer and i am giving the result value to sub but here the because of that we have here we have given the base address of sub to the ptr it will do the subtraction let's see here we are doing subtraction so inside the subtraction you can see a minus b so first argument minus second argument so first argument is 2 and second argument is equal to 1 so expecting result is 1 see let's see subtraction using function pointer is equal to 1 ok now let's see the usage of array of function pointer so here only thing is that here we are using array so to give the array to mention detail as a array what we are doing we need to mention the size how many elements so here everything will, will remain the same here the bracket inside that after pointer we need to use the bracket and inside that size of the array we need to mention okay same thing i am doing but here array is there so i need to give the four uh, value four uh, base address of the function so here i have given the each function name with comma separated as we are returning an array add sub mul and division okay so this is the thing i have done so i have given the base address to each of the function pointer okay 
now how now i want to एक मिनट आऊँ जो रिकॉर्ड करूँ जो एंड नाउ नाउ वी कैन सी द फंक्शन पॉइंटर ओके प्लॉट आई एम नाउ आई वांट टू कॉल दैट ओके नाउ आई वांट टू कॉल दैट सो व्हाट वी विल डू हियर वी आर कॉलिंग एंड वी आर व्हाटेवर द वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग दैट वी आर गिविंग टू द एफपीटीआर रिजल्ट Okay, but here I have given as an integer return type. Here I am catching as a float. So the type conversion will happen. Okay, so this is the actual code. So same thing I can do, but here I need to specify the which element, which yeah, which array, which function pointer are I want to execute. So inside that I can give the hard coded value as well. Zero, one, two, three, or I can give some variable. So here, what I have given the sum, the last value of the sum is one because of the subtraction two minus one. I I got the value as one. Okay, so this is the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I have given the value two value. One is fifty, uh, and another is twenty. Okay, fifty and twenty. Okay, so fifty and here is the one, zero and one. So it should go to subtraction. Fifty minus twenty is thirty. Okay, so let's again try the result. <coughs> okay, so it's giving thirty. So that is correct. What is but here why we are getting the uh, point zero 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 because of the type conversion to the float. If I will give the simple as an integer, then it will not give any point uh, zero zero value. Let's see. Okay, result is zero. Okay, so here the PTR zero and one, but here also we need to change because we are given as a percentage. F. Now I will give percentage D. Let's see again. See now thirty is coming. So because of type that. Conversion only it is twenty thirty point zero. So this is the way we needed to use the function pointer. This is the basic implementation of the function pointer. But we can we are mostly widely we will use uh, function pointer in callback. Okay. So this is the demonstration of the you know, function pointer. Just to give a brief introduction how the code will look with function pointer and usage of the function pointer okay i hope uh, this will give you a little bit background of the function pointer and uh, hope you like it i don't know okay hope so yeah thank you thanks for watching